what we see every day happens every day, 365 days a year. 999 mode activated. Never been on a service that's actually been so busy. Basically, it can be anything and everything. You see thanks in their eyes. They don't always say it, but you see thanks in their eyes. As day turns to night, a new team takes over. Down to five people and three ambulances, Saturday night begins. An unusual call comes in. A man says his internal heart defibrillator is firing abnormally. Oh. Oh. I know it hurts. Oh, yes. oh. What's happening here is firing for a reason, OK? Your heart's going into that irregular rhythm that you've had that thing yeah. fitted for, OK? A bit noise by the start, surely. You ever need it as if it's could it blow your head off? Or? I know, I know. You feel it as if I'm getting flame through my eyes. Too much that. I know, I know. We're going to get you in. Yeah, we are going to get you in. After firing 18 times, four in front of the crew, he is quickly transferred to A and E. As this team deals with him, another responds to a woman with head injuries, called in by the police as suspected domestic abuse. Yeah. Yeah. What are you saying? Is Let me have a quick look. See if I can have a look. What did you hit your head off? I didn't. You didn't? They, they, um, they hit you? Yes. What with? Do you know? Yeah. And now with a, a bump like that, we we'll advise you to go down to A&E to have it looked at. No, it's okay. We can What's come down to A&E with you and take the complaint down there. Yeah. yeah. If they're saying that it's a good idea for you to go, I'd go. Come on. I'm fine. Please stop apologising. It's not what they're for. Yep, obviously. It's tight. The woman is known to the police, so while paramedics do all they can, they leave her in the hands of other services. As expected on a Saturday night, alcohol abuse puts a huge strain on the ambulance service. It's not long before the crew is called to attend a young girl being sick in the centre of town. Her parents are called to pick her up, but not everyone is lucky enough to have familiar faces around them when they drink too much. A passerby finds this man passed out in a doorway and calls for an ambulance. What's your name? Hello. Three, have we got a bit? Ready? One, two, three. What have you drank? I had a good night. So have you had quite a lot to drink? Should we just leave it at that? No, I had a good night. Have you had drugs this evening? No. Are you sure about that? 100%. Yeah? He's incoherent and appears to have lost all his belongings, so the crew have to take him to A&E. Okay. It's the wake-up call some people need. Ambulance crews hope they learn their lesson, but they'll be here next weekend to pick up the pieces, if not. They are frustrating. Um, on a personal point of view, they're frustrating for me because if someone else requires an ambulance that someone doesn't really, just because they've had alcohol, that can cause an issue. Um, but at the end of the day, they all need a little bit of help, so we supply that help. <laughs>